Here we go! Hello everybody, Sapphire Saber here with you today with another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. So in the last episode, we did manage to take down Claire, the Dragon Gym Leader, but it wasn't easy. We very easily could have lost that if that Kingdra had crit. Unfortunately, we lost positivity on the way to the gym, and our, our Boog had to make a sacrifice to eat a hit so that Red could regain her accuracy, but you know, that's about all we could ask out of Boog. But so, pretty much all we have left, at least for the main game, is the Elite Four. So I'm thinking this episode's gonna kinda be getting some last minute things done, then I'll do some grinding in between, and next episode will just be a boss rush for the Elite Four. And we'll, we'll probably do Kanto after that, but you know, we get there and we get there, right? For anyway, or for now anyways, we might as well go and grab that free Dratini, because with how little Pokemon we have left, that Dratini is gonna be a lifesaver. God, this theme is so good. I wish it played for more things. Man, I don't want to name this thing. I want to name it Noodle, because he's like a noodle, but we already have a noodle. I guess he's Snack. Hooray, a Master Ball. I mean, it'll actually be pretty useful. I'd like to try to catch Lugia without it, but it's kind of nice just to have it as a, a backup in case I feel like we're not going to catch it, and we have a way to for sure catch it if we need to. Otherwise, if we don't end up using it on Lugia, we could use it on Hoa, and then, well, you know, no, that's going to go. Oh boy, it's time for the kimono battles. This one's not going to be easy at all. I think I have decent counters to most of them, but I'm especially scared of Espeon. Other than that, I, th I think I'll be okay. I think the Vaporeon might have Aurora Beam, but I think, I think Red can just strength through it. I think it'll be okay. Well, here we go. Here comes the first one. I don't remember the orders. Okay, so we start with Umbreon. I actually think we have a pretty okay matchup here. Um, maybe not. Let's, uh, Umbreon has really high physical defense. I guess we'll stay in. Let's try an icy one. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that did nothing. Oh gosh, that has Dark Pulse? Oof. Alright, maybe we should switch. I feel like an Aqua Tail is going to probably do a lot. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. Alright, first one down. Alright, here comes Espeon. Espeon's really frail, but it can hit like a truck. I can't remember if it gets Magical Leaf or not. I think we'll attack. We'll scout it out. We'll see what he's got. I'm, swear, I'm scared to switch to red, and then all of a sudden it hit me with a psychic that does stupid amounts of damage. Alright, come on, Piggy, tank that. Ah! Oh boy. So it's gonna be like that, huh? This is bad, I have no resist to that psychic. Alright, we're sending in red. If it crits, I think red might die. This might be a mistake. I think I, I don't think I don't think I should try and stall it. Cause I think that's just asking for a crit. I think Psychic only has 10 PP though. It's used three now. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't too bad actually. We'll heal up. We'll play it safe. Hopefully I outspeed here. Oh yikes! Okay, crit kills me. I don't think I had a choice though. Please don't crit. Oh, come on! It has to kill. It has to. Oh, thank gosh. The thing was terrifying. I have nothing for psychic types. Oh god, I have nothing to switch into this. I guess I can send in flips. But I can't send red in. And I can't keep piggy in. I can't send radish in. I can't send jack in. Yeah, I have to send in flips. Come on, tank that up, flips. Oh boy. Come on, flips. Yikes. I don't think I have a better choice, though. Unfortunately, nobody else can take this hit, and I need to heal up red. I'm sorry, Flips, but if you want to live, you're going to have to dodge this Fire Blast or have it use something else. Well, Flips, you did good. Everything you did for the team. Goodbye, Flips. But his sacrifice is not in vain, because now red's out. Let's just go for the Surf. I could cure the burn, but then it's just going to Willowist me again. 
So let's just see how much this does. Yeah, we'll be fine here. And it missed, nice. So we just surf and... Alright, that's fair enough. Get a hit in before you go down. I can respect that. Oh, perfect. Jolteon's up. Jolteon should be easy with Piggy out. Easy peasy. Last up should be Vaporeon. I can't remember if it has Aurora Beam or not. So we just are going to play it safe. I'm assuming it goes for Surf here. That or Aqua Ring. I think it also knows Aqua Ring. So we'll, we'll just send out Radish and be safe. Yeah, it goes for the Surf. Okay, even if it has Aurora Beam, we should be able to survive. I think we survived this for sure. Eesh. Maybe I should have gone for Sleep Powder, but I wasn't sure. If this doesn't do much, though, we can just switch to Red. That's probably our best move from here, I think. Because I don't, I don't think we survive another Aurora Beam there. I think we just switch to Red, and Red just strength his way through it. Alright, well that's all the Kimono Girls done, so I guess we go buy Pokeballs and do Lugia now. Although that's going to be hard. I might go gain a couple of levels before we go do that. Just to make sure I can actually take some of his hits. Here we go, Lugia time then. Oh, I'm terrified. Alright, I think... I think we laid with Red. I think Red has the best chance of surviving any of the attacks. Uh, but this is kind of terrifying, so... We're gonna see how this goes. Um, hopefully I don't regret this. There's a possibility that I do. The safe option is definitely just to throw the Master Ball, but I'd prefer to try to save it. But if it looks like I'm not going to be able to hold on, and it's going to come down to either losing team members or using the Master Ball, I'm definitely going to use the Master Ball. Not afraid to do it. I just would prefer to try without, at least for a little bit. Here we go. Hello, big boy. So I think we can take extra sensories pretty okay. The arrow blast with a high crit ratio is what scares me. But let's just... let's whack him. Alright, alright. Miss your attacks, we like that, we like that. This doesn't do too bad, I don't think. Yeah, we're okay there. Okay, hopefully this doesn't hurt too bad. This will give us a good indicator of how much arrow blast might do, though. Yikes, that was a lot. Get him nice in the red for me. Oh, he definitely needs another hit. Okay, well, we better heal. So I'm not here to lose red. <gasps> he missed Aeroblast! Perfect! Okay. I think he'll live his strength. I'm gonna be really sad if he doesn't. Okay, red, you're okay. You're good, red. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, we're fine, actually. I think we'd live crit, actually. Just don't crit him. Okay, okay, that's good. No, this is good. Now we can heal up. Hopefully it goes for... I think it has Rain Dance, if I remember right. I know it has one move that doesn't attack. I think it's Rain Dance. Okay, no, I have to heal after these, though. But he's used three of them. So he has two left. Yeah, I, I, I think we survived crit there, actually. That looks like it did about 50-ish. Maybe a little bit more than 50, I guess. But I think we definitely live crit. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now we have a chance to throw some balls at him. I brought Dusk Balls. Uh, I know Heavy Balls work well on him, too. Let's try Heavy Balls, see how that goes. I don't have a lot of those, but I have a few. Nope. Alright. I wish I could put it to sleep, but I do not feel comfortable having Radish out there. Let's try a Dusk Ball. I did buy 30 of them, so I have plenty. Well, we got a wiggle. Hey, he used Rain Dance. We get to try a ball again. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. Dang it. And it missed its last Arrow Blast, so I think we're safe to just start chucking balls for a while now. Alright, you know what? I think he's starting to run out of moves. 
I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to use the Master Ball. Hooray! And we didn't lose anybody, too, which is actually pretty good. Oh, and we got a bold Lugia. That's actually really nice. Lowers attack and raises defense, and this thing's a special attacker. So this thing's going to be a crazy physical wall. Awesome. I'm actually really excited about that. A little sad we had to use the Master Ball, but you know, I, I think it was well worth it. All right, all, well, I think that's, that's going to be our episode here for today. I think before next week, I'm going to do a bit of grinding and try and get some of our other team members up in some levels. I want to get Dratini up to at least a Dragonair. I don't know if we'll get him all the way to Dragonite, but I want to level up my team a little bit. I know Gloom learns Giga Drain at 47, I want to say, and then I want to evolve it. So I'd like to get that done. I just want to kind of want to get some levels. I feel a little bit low for the Elite Four, and without a lot of the best Pokemon and the best type coverage, I think, I think some more levels could do us good. So that's where I'm going to call it here today. We did get Lugia, and I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to try and not rely on it too much, but it's there as an option. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next week. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe as per usual. But anyways, that's going to be the end. Goodbye!